We are 3D printing a life-size baby raptor. All the baby raptor files I found online were small. So what we did is scaled it up, sliced it up, and then pushed it off for printing. We're gonna max out the build plate at every turn. And one of the things that's a little bit different from my other projects is we're deciding to make Baby Blue hollow. Ultimately, Baby Blue is gonna be an outside dinosaur. So we want her to have some durability to her. So we use BioPet G. We're also not gonna leave her hollow. The experiment continues as we're drilling in and filling her up with some expanding foam. So she won't actually be hollow at all. This is our first time using expanding foam on one of our 3D printing projects, and we're really curious to see how it affects her. Now, you might be wondering why we need a full-size baby raptor that lives outside. One of my proudest titles I hold is that of Auntie, and my adorable nieces and nephews all love dinosaurs. And Alex and I happen to really love dinosaurs too. So we're creating a fun space at Auntie's house where we have Jurassic Pond. Baby Blue is going to be one of the first of many dinosaurs who are gonna live in Jurassic Pond, making it an exciting place for my nieces and nephews to come hang out. Needless to say, we have big plans for Jurassic Pond. But our first step is to get Baby Blue printed and put together. At this point in the process, she's like one giant puzzle. Except unlike when I have my droid division files, there's no pegs or holes to keep all her pieces aligned perfectly and connected. So a lot of this is just going to be us doing our best to be as precise as possible as we glue her. To attach all these puzzle pieces, we're going to be using CA glue, which comes in two parts, the glue itself and the activator spray. After days of printing, we're so excited to finally be putting her together.